bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Pastor, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Just a moment. Thank you very much. So, so flattered by your love. God bless you. God bless you, sir. I know that tonight our lives will never be the same. I was so humbled when I came in and I saw three people outside your overflows. Praise the Lord. Now, just two things. We're going to sit down. Please, whether you're an usher or not, just help anyone under the anointing close to you while we teach. Praise of God is in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ. We'll be here only for a few minutes tonight so that we can honor the time. But I want your heart to be open. Pastor, thank you. You have an amazing worship team. My God, my God. These people, hallelujah. Amen. Do you love prayer? Can we pray? Please lift your voice in one minute. Just pray in the spirit. Cry for the spirit of revelation. Help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I believe with all my heart that this conference will answer its name in our lives. It's a conference that seeks to ignite and seeks to activate dimensions that for some has been dormant for a long time and for others it is a virgin dimension that has never been treaded but in any case i like for your heart to be open like pastor said just giving the charge you can come and spectate and be happy and feel good and go back but then you can come with a hunger in your heart and take something of substance back. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. When the Lord puts meetings like this, it is because he seeks to shift us to levels and then dimensions in the spirit. Micah chapter 4, the prophet began to speak about the character of the end time church. When you read from verse 1, Micah chapter 4 from verse 1. It says, In the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the Lord's house, he said, shall be established in the top of the mountains. It shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow. You don't flow to a mountain. A mountain is upwards. But the pressure it will command that people will flow they will defy the limitations. Next verse. This is why they will flow. And many nations shall come and say, Let us go up to house on the rock, Potakot, the mountain of the Lord. He says, And to the God of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways. He will teach us his ways. Conferences like these are feasts of light. When God by his spirit opens us up 
and quickens our understanding remember authority in this kingdom is predicated upon your understanding understanding is such a miracle that the bible says then open he their understanding that they might understand scripture so i pray in the name of jesus that you will lend your destiny your attention for the next few minutes i believe pastor that there will be manifold activations in this place in the name of jesus christ please be seated again it's my honor to be here and i glorify the lord for the privilege in the name of jesus christ we're dealing with the subject of the supernatural and um, I think that this has been a subject that has um, not been properly understood in the body of Christ generally we love the idea of the supernatural we love the feeling of anything that exerts dominance above the three-dimensional realm but then it looks like there are a lot of gaps in our spiritual understanding as to the dynamics of the supernatural and the spirit realm almost everyone will agree that there is a reality beyond the realm of science there is a reality beyond Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9 that grace is not limited to your intellectual deficiency if any it's a grace that can walk through whatever limitation and cause you to see Paul was speaking and he said Ephesians 3 and verse 9 that a grace was given to him being the least of the apostles and that that grace can make all men see all men see so expect to understand there is nothing complicated when the spirit of god is at work because he will open your eyes to see are we together man glory be to jesus genesis chapter one let's start from there Wherever we stop tonight, the Lord will help us. We'll continue tomorrow. Pay whatever price it will take to be here tomorrow. Make the sacrifice. And let's trust God to really, really feast and be lifted. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a loud shout in the spirit. And... I'm seeing a number four and the power of God is coming on four people right now in this place there is a loud shout that I'm hearing you called it an activation conference That your life will never be the same the lord is quickening your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit so that these things are no longer strange strange can, can i just do my thing here praise the name of the lord we're going to go to the word shortly but i just saw it i saw that number four number four number four number four it's a quickening of the spirit I'm seeing the wind blowing. There is a grace for intercession that is resting on people in this place right now. From the front to the back is a strange wind. May that grace come upon you now. A quickening. I'm seeing people, there's, there's just a wind and I'm seeing fire resting on people. It's an ignition. Even at the overflow outside, I'm seeing at the overflow Shalanta Skabaratosia Shatabradega de Balakato Sabrande Gabarusa Sede Balata. You will never be the same, immersed in his glory. Prakato Zadela Sabanda Shalako Sada Haskabadiada 
house on the rock for Tarkot. a visitation comes to you tonight you will never be the same we'll get to the word shortly the grace for intercession 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 i'm hearing in my spirit i'm restoring i'm restoring i'm restoring this is what god is saying you have lost time you have lost things i come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood help them please restoring families receiving restorations in the name of jesus please help that woman just bask in that glory for a minute or two the lord is bringing you restoration by the spirit of the living god i don't know who this man is my friend look at me lift your hands i see an anointing coming upon you the lord is restoring everything you've lost take that grace now in the name of jesus christ restoring everything that was lost restoring everything that was lost there's a lady in the choir the lord is bringing your family this year will not end before you see this restoration there is an anointing that is coming on you this is what the spirit of the lord is saying Who is Abel? I'm hearing a name Abel. I'm hearing a name Abel. We'll be seated shortly. But I just sense that your hunger is touching the heart of the Father. I'm hearing the name Abel. And the Lord is ministering to me that He's bringing restoration to the family of Abel. Abel, what's your name? Abel, wow, interesting. Come, do we have another mic? What's your name? Abel is your name or your surname? I will pray with you so we are not distracted. Huh? You're, you're, you're a member of this church, you came from somewhere in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare over your life now, over forever. In the name of Jesus, my dear, lift your hands. I release a grace upon you and I shift you to a new dimension in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, you will never be small. In the name of Jesus, please don't come out at random. Let's not make this rowdy. Your name is Abel. What do you do? Please give him. Ah, huh? I'm seeing you in a restaurant. What do you do? Yes, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you in a restaurant. I'm a waiter at a restaurant, sir. In a restaurant? Yes, sir. Where? Go to the Potakot Hotel. Is there somewhere like that? I'd like you to shout Jesus as loud as you can. That grace comes upon you. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Soon you will leave that place and the Lord is lifting you to a higher dimension. You will never forget this conference for the rest of your life. When he comes, you will know he's here. What do you do, sir? This man, you, yes. Real estate. Because I am seeing there is a breakthrough. December, this December. I don't know you from anywhere and I fear God you've been trying to do something that has not worked is that true you have tried you've been disappointed this is three times one two three this is what the lord is revealing to me but here at this conference i bring you the rod of a higher priesthood that in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god and by the anointing of the holy ghost i shift you into that possibility in the name of jesus the christ of god please wherever you are in one minute open your mouth and make demand of something that must come upon your life in this conference
Halabakato Sabranda Kato Shalaskaba Hasada Barutia. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Sing it again and listen to what you are saying. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? One, two, three, four years. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that? four years four years come it's time for you to receive what can you do jesus you are able great and mighty god you are able pastor thank you for putting this program thank you in your obedience is the lifting of someone in your obedience is the answer to prayer it doesn't take god alone it takes god and yielded men pastor again thank you am i wasting your time bring the lady that shouts under the anointing now to the hearing of everyone i want to speak to her The power of God is coming on one of you and I'm seeing what looks like a chain breaking because Jesus is in the midst of his people I tell you the grace of God is mighty and strong in this place please just coordinate them just walk with the ushers in the name of Jesus Christ listen to me there is a name that is above every other name bring her The Lord says concerning your family, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, I do a new thing. Behold, I do a new thing. Let the voice of lamentation come to end in your family. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Did the Bible not say when you come on to Mount Zion, there are in an innumerable company of angels? It says therein is also the spirits of just men made perfect jesus himself the first begotten i want to pray for those trusting madam i'm seeing an angel removing something from you this woman on black in the name of jesus right here at house on the rock be free we bring you the liberty of the spirit what can you do jesus you are able, great and You are able, Jesus. Now, in the name of Jesus, for those of you who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, I stand in faith with your pastor and I prophesy to you in the name that is above all names, according to the time of life return with miracles 
believe it i'm not motivating you listen listen it is seen it is seen to make bold proclamations that you do not have the grace to support it the bible says that everyone should minister according to the measure of grace in the name that is above all names again by jesus the head of the church we decree and declare in the name that is above all names barrenness of all sorts be gone now and forever be gone now and forever in the name of jesus please return to your seats rejoicing hallelujah please be seated let's see that we can do something tonight goodness you see there's something about hunger when the hunger of a man touches the heart of his maker he's compelled to respond some of you have prayed some of you have fasted some of you have been here for hours You have stretched your appetite from border to border and now he has come to satisfy that long hallelujah genesis chapter one let's go to the book of the beginnings as we explore the realm of the spirit as we explore the supernatural what you're hearing tonight are not theological dissertations these are truths based on the integrity of god's word based on the wisdom that has come from the life of those who have found these keys and i pray that god will open our eyes the bible says genesis 1 and verse 1 in the beginning god created don't worry about what he created just focus in the beginning god created doesn't matter whether it was the heaven or the earth whether it was man the idea is that in the beginning god created in the beginning god created it happens to be that what he created was the heavens and the earth that means he was not living in any of those realms you can't create what you are inside listen carefully please in the beginning god created the heavens then he created the earth two dimensions and then the bible says verse 2 many things happened and as a result the earth was dark void formless and then the spirit of god hovered around the earth we never got to see what happened the first time but now we're having an opportunity to see a recreation and then chapter 1 and verse 3 the bible says and elohim said light now study the progression in the beginning he created we don't have the opportunity to see the raw materials and the dynamics the bible just summarizes it so it's difficult to reproduce that result because the dynamics were not known we just know he created the heavens and the earth are we together now he breaks it down in verse 3 and for your information this is how creation starts light be. light be. and he said and he saw because there was light not because he spoke and he said please follow me i don't know how pray for me while you are seated there because we have to this 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 thing is is something that we have to really really dive into seriously light be and then when light came 
he began to speak and he saw everything he said because he said it in the presence of light that means it is not the speaking it is the light the illumination that strengthens and activates that speech this already is a serious deliverance for someone who just believes that all there is to creation and activating possibilities is just to talk uh -uh. you talk in the presence of light when there was light then he could speak and see what he said if there is no light you can speak but you will never see light be that light was not sunlight sunlight was created on day four that light is what the bible calls the life of man it was apostle john who understood that mystery now we're dealing with with spiritual dynamics here so he said light be and there was and then he began to create 